Hey everyone. Welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video is sponsored by Wondershare Video Converter Ultimate. It is the best software to convert any video, or burn your videos into a DVD, with lightning fast conversion speed. It supports more than 1000 video formats to choose from. And allows to process your batch videos at once. You can also edit your videos, crop it, trim it, or even add effects to it. It allows you to save videos, from over 10,000 sites with one click. Its inbuilt screen recorder allows you to record your computer screen, with a high quality output. You can even create GIF files from your videos. So, visit the link in the description, and download it today. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Cassette Player. As always, I'm using the 1920x1080 resolution, at 30 frames per second. You are free to choose your own settings. I am using a duration of 4 minutes. But you have to keep the duration according to your music timing. Now, import these files into your project. You can download them from the link in the description. First, place the background on to the timeline, and it will fit perfectly. Grab your music file, and then place it below this background layer. If you press L, double time, you can see the waveform of your audio file. You can keep the entire song. But for this tutorial, I am just going to use the attractive part of the song only. Cool, RAM preview this, and you can hear your audio now. This is a lovely song, isn't it? Let's minimize this layer, and then add the cassette layer on above the background layer. As you can see, this cassette image is huge in size. So let's adjust it, press S, to open scale. And then change the scale value to 17%. It looks perfect. Now right click on it, and select pre-compose. Select move all attributes into the new composition. Let's call it Cassette Comp, and then, hit OK. Let's create a shadow to it. Select this cassette layer, and press Ctrl, plus D, to make a duplicate. Select this bottom layer, and call it Cassette Shadow. Now go to the Effects and Presets, and search for the Fill Effect. Apply it onto the Shadow layer and then change the fill color to a black color. Again, go to the effects and presets. And this time, search for the CC Radial Fast Blur effect. Apply it to the same layer, then grab this center point, and then place it something like here. Our shadow will be on the opposite direction of this point. Now increase the amount by 90. This shadow looks too dark to me. So here, press T, to open opacity, and then change the opacity value to 70%. Cool, this looks good to me. It's time to add the wheel. Select the wheel layer, and place it onto the timeline. 
This is going to be on top of all layers. Now, press S, to open scale, and change the scale value to 17% as well. Now align this wheel with the circle, and make sure it is aligned perfectly. Press R, to open rotation. And now we are going to add an expression to it. Press and hold the ALT key on your keyboard, and then click on this stopwatch icon to add an expression. Here in this expression area, type, time, star, 60. It means this is going to rotate 60 times in a minute. Click anywhere to eject from this expression box, and then check the animation speed. Ramp review this, and see if you are happy with it. Cool. This looks good to me. Now make another duplicate of this layer, by pressing Ctrl plus D. And align this second wheel, on this circle position. Cool. Now they both are rotating at the same time and the same speed. Let's add an audio spectrum here, for some visuals. Create a new solid layer, and let's call it Visualizer. Again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the audio spectrum. Apply it onto the Visualizer layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Grab this color picker, and choose this color. Select this bottom color picker as well, and choose the same color for it. Cool. Let's adjust the starting point of this audio spectrum. Change the first start point value to 867, and the second will be 515. Change this value to 515 as well, and then change this first value to 1047. Now our audio spectrum is in the center of this block, in this audio layer, click and choose your audio layer. Here you can see, my frequency bands are going outside of this block, so let's decrease the maximum height value. And also, change the frequency bands to 30. Cool, here is my audio spectrum. Let's change the thickness value to 2. And also adjust the position of it. Cool. Let's change the end frequency value to 150. And this is how my audio spectrum looks now. At certain points, my spectrum is going outside of this block, because of the high frequency. Let's decrease the maximum height value to 90 for now. You are free to play with the side option from here. But I am going to use the side A, and B. Check the animation and see if you like it. Let's make another duplicate of this visualizer layer. And this time, I am choosing the display option to analog dots. But they are not visible, because they have the same height. Let's increase the maximum height value a little, so the dots can be visible. Cool, now I can see them. Still, this is going outside from the block. Let's decrease this maximum height value of the analog dots, so they can be fit inside this box. And then, decrease the maximum height value of this bottom layer as well. Perfect, now I can see both of them. It's time to add our text, go to the tools and select text tool. Click here and start typing your text. I am using this font because this is 90% similar to my real life handwriting. By the way, you can download this font from the link in the description. You are free to choose your own text style, I am using first big text for the audio file name. And for the bottom layer, I am using the artist name. Align the text position, so they look good to your eyes. Cool. Make sure your text is aligned over the lines, just like your teacher taught you in school.
Perfect. Ram preview this. And our animation is complete. I will see next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Thank you.